Hey guys, Prime Matrix 1986 here, and today I wanted to do a video on how to fix the Walking Dead TV show figure line. Um, so this is going to be addressing uh, just the TV show line. Uh, this will not be uh, having anything to do with the comic book series. Uh, I may do a video on that, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, there's, there's not really as many problems with a comic book line as there is a TV show line. Um, so anyways let's go ahead and jump into it um so for those of you that don't know here's a quick little history of the walking dead uh tv show figurine line uh it's all made by mcfarland toys of course and uh you know there were five inch figures uh, some were very very detailed some not so much obviously uh there were uh, nine series um and now there's a tenth one and we'll get into the series 10 here in a second um now, as far as the seven inch goes, a couple years ago, McFarlane Toys said they wanted to upscale all their figures to seven inches. And uh, at first, I was game. Uh, I don't really collect the TV show figures that much. Um, but with me, I mean, I I'd rather have, you know, bigger and more detailed figures. Um, down there where we got them, they did not look so great. The articulation was shit, uh, next to nothing. Um, and they, they slowly started to get a lot better. Um, like here is an example of Negan. Uh, you know his articulation was pretty good. The only problem was the um, weird arm articulation he had with the uh, arm that he holds Lucille with. And uh, there, then there was Dwight, which is the uh, most recent one that's out in stores right now. And uh, again, he has pretty good articulation. And uh, they're gradually starting to get a lot better, which is very very nice. Um, then we're gonna move on to. Uh, Pretty much how the fans reacted uh, here on the Walking Dead uh, action figure and memorabilia Facebook page. A lot of people were pissed, and a lot of fans in general were pissed. And uh, you c I can't really blame anybody, honestly. Uh, again, I don't really collect the TV show figures, but I can understand why everybody would be pissed about it. Uh, me, I was really pissed whenever the color tops came out, and they were shit. If they were amazing to start off with, I don't think there would have been that many complaints as there have been. Um... Uh, and, and I, for one, would have loved it. Um, but now, whenever we come into the Series 10 5-inch figures, uh, the Walking Dead action figure memorabilia Facebook page actually is, is responsible for coming out with those figures. Uh, long story short, if I have my facts right, there was somebody there in the group who was uh, big high up in the chain of command at Walgreens, and McFarland Toys is pretty much slowly releasing... Uh, some TV show figures in series 10 and of course that includes you know the constable Rick uh, Sasha clean Negan and uh, Aaron so far uh, so not too bad and uh, That comes to my conclusion Which is what this video is for is the solution for all this not just for the fans but for McFarlane toys themselves um, now here's the thing if we take a look here at the 5-inch Negan, and we put him here beside the 7-inch Negan, uh, this figure is essentially the same exact thing, um, just shrunk down. And, well, besides the articulation. The articulation is a lot better on the 5-inch Negan. But as far as sculpt goes and paint goes, it's more or less the same. And in my review I did over, it was either the 5-inch uh, Negan and Glenn 2-pack or the bloody 7-inch Negan, the blood splatter was at the exact same place, the exact same way. And it looks like they literally just shrunk down the 7-inch figure and made the 5-inch figure of Negan. Um, and I, I was, you know, blown away by that. I, I really, really was. And I think that McFarlane Toys uses 3D printers uh, to make their figures. And here's my thing. If you were to somehow get the 7-inch figures and scale them down you would it, it would be perfect for everybody um because here's the thing if you take a look at the uh newly shown ezekiel and daryl um which should be coming out here soon uh they also are doing a maggie it looks like and here's a picture of the prototype if you want to check out my last video i'll go over all that uh they're supposed to be making a new negan and rick but anyways we'll we'll, we'll get into that later on um but if you see if you look right here you know their articulation is just like the five inch so here's the thing let's say you get this ezekiel and you scale him down 
you do not have to change a thing. It is the exact same figure, just scaled down. And if you could do that, which I don't know if it costs anything else. I'm sure it does with supplies. But you don't have to worry about sculpting anything new. You have that figure already. So my message here to McFarlane Toys is this. If you were to scale everything down from a 7-inch figure, you are making every single customer happy. You are pleasing the 7-inch fans. You are pleasing the 5-inch fans. And you are also making profits essentially off of one figure. But you're making twice the profit because you're going to be getting two products out of one sculpt. And I feel like that is the perfect solution for these um, 5 inch to 7 inch figures. Because there's, there's a lot of controversy over it, you know. And uh, this would just be perfect. I mean, everybody would be happy. Uh, we would still have the 5 inch figures. We would still have the 7 inch figures. And again, McFarlane Toys will of course be making more money. Um, so... Uh, I do got to say, I, I apologize, this video was a little bit longer than what it should have been, guys. Uh, I just had to kind of go over a few things, uh, catch up on some uh, facts that some people may not know. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, are you guys okay with the 7-inch line? Um, are you alright with the 5-inch line? Uh, would you like to see something like this? Please let me know because I would love to see some feedback uh, and see what you guys think. So with that being said, though, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all later.